Introducing the AC Mod 7. Today we're going to install the AC Mod 7 inside the Striker SR955 and we're going to show you how to install it step by step. The AC Mod 7 is a complete hi fi solution for your transceiver. In addition to its predecessor functions, it includes all the necessary options to control your transceiver's functions, signals, and modes. Its rugged SMD design provides auto divert for the RF Finals VCC and modulation feed path for easy installation in HF multiband multimode transceivers. The built in amp keyer with TX indicator allows keying RF amplifiers directly. The SSB mute automatically stops audio from flowing into the balanced modulator when on AM. The new onboard remote power switch eliminates the need for externally mounted transistors requiring heatsink. To allow for full potentiometer range for given transceivers, pre-select controls for carrier inject and level have been implemented. JST connectors provide easy external connections and the new auxiliary input provides simple connectivity for record playback devices. The first thing we do is lift up the collector of Q53 right here. The second thing we do is remove this resistor next to this arrow to give us the 11 meter band. The next thing we're going to take out is R615 right here. However, it is not a resistor. It's actually a capacitor and it's right here. We took it off right there, but it actually goes where that cable soldered. So remove that. I leave it there in case they ever want to revert the radio back to factory. But all you do is remove it from those two terminals, put it to the side, and put that wire right there. That will be your ESSB input to the balance modulator. Over here in this capacitor, this is where we tap for the 8 volt AM or AM 8 volts. In other words, when you're on AM, 8 volts are present at this point. This will be connected to the remote of the AC mod board. And the green, which is the sideband audio, will be connected to the sideband audio output of the AC mod board. Next, bend this bracket over here and the rear upwards as seen like that. This will allow to mount the AC mod board right alongside here. Next step is to remove the power connector, the connection wire with the ferrites and the protection diode. Remove all those three from the board and the rear chassis. After that, drill the holes for the quarter inch line in for the one eighth inch for the PTT. Here you have the line in jack configured so that one side will go to the AC mod board and the other side will go to the audio output from the radio's main board. Remove capacitor E504 from the board, extend the leads, put heat shrink tubing, and bend it over to the side so it does not obstruct the path of the line end connector. Then we go ahead and tap into TP507. That's gonna go to our eight volts TX to key our amps on the AC mod board. At this point, you can go ahead and change the three kilohertz filter for a 6K filter. That's for your AM receive. Next, we'll connect the power and the modulation. 
We connect the AC mods modulator output to the junction of L28 and C170 right here. We then connect our power, 12 volts right there. Then guide the two cables through. Then peel a number 22 flexible cable and get the core and we're going to put it so we could ground the chassis mount of the connector. Solder it to one side, go around the input and back to the other side. Solder both ends of the grounding wire and cut the axis. Next, connect your PTT connector right there and tighten it. We use this special tool. to tighten it. Next we'll connect the line end connector. Now we have installed our line end connector and our PTT connector. Next get a couple of pieces of 18 gauge flexible hookup wire to connect our power end. Remove the old wire from the ferrites, and now we're ready to install our power connector and our ferrites. Now we have inserted our power wires to the PC board, and flip the radio around and solder them in. Solder them and cut the leads. Connect your power wires to the connector and install the protection diode. Run your PTT wire from the PTT connector into this hole right here. Install a ceramic 104 or 0.1 microfarad to the PTT input of the microprocessor. It's very important to install these RF uh, bypass capacitors, otherwise you could fry the processor of the radio. Then install a 22 microhenry inductor right there. Solder your PTT wire to the inductor, and we're done. We'll now connect the output of the radio's mic preamp to the coax going to the line end connector in the rear panel to TP500. There it is. Tie your cables to the side bracket with the tie wrap. Solder your ground cable to the side of this can, right in that solder joint, just like that. The AC Mod 7 has a built-in amp keying function, and the output is right there, the amp key output. And we'll connect that to this jack, RCA jack, that will go in the back panel. Next, we need to move the serial number tag to the top of the SO239 RF output connector. And there we have moved the serial number tag to the top of the radio. We have now installed the PTT jack with a 0.1 microfarad or 104 ceramic cap across it to keep any RF out. Now we've connected the wire for our PTT connector. Make sure to use 300 volts or above rated wire. Bring all your cables to one point into a harness and that's going to connect to the AC mod. First install the line end coax coming from the line end connector to the AC mod board audio input. I'd rather use soldered connections rather than the uh, rather than the terminal type to avoid any issues. We have now connected all our wires to the AC mod board. Here we have the audio end from the line in jack in the rear of the radio. 
there's a power, ground, a remote, our modulation output, our modulator output, sideband audio output, the amp here, and the 8 volts TX signal. Simple enough. Now it's time to install the hardware. Here we have the insulators and the screws and we're ready to mount the AC mod board and the striker 955. First put the heatsink paste on the insulator, on the mylar insulator right there. And now we are ready to put some more heat sink compound behind our power transistor and mount it on. And now we're ready to power it up. We'll change modes right now the AC mod is on because we're on AM when we go to sideband the AC mod turns off and the bright red LED means we're on sideband or FM go back to AM now we have both the 24 volt light and the 12 volt light come on now we'll switch to FM and there you go your red LED indicates that we're on FM. Once you go on transmit mode, the AC mod keys your amplifier via the amp keying jack in the back of the radio. Hello and welcome to another AC mod video. Today we'll be introducing the AC Mod 7 Hi-Fi Asymmetrical AM and SSB Modulator. The AC Mod 7 also has an auxiliary input which allows you to connect any playback device to it. The AC Mod 7 robust design is reliable and made to last. In this build, you have your amp keyer jack, you have your PTT jack, and your line in jack. Over here you have your 8 volts TX, this is your AM 8 volts, and that's your sideband output. You have your power, your modulation uh, inject point right there, uh, and you have your PTT wire coming to the other side, as you will see in the installation. So we'll go ahead and give it a test. Now we'll go ahead and test it. We'll put our receiver here. We're using the IC706 MK2G for the uh, receiver. Uh, we'll be in Vegas recording the audio and uh, we'll try it out. Uh, we'll start on AM. It's already preset for a four-way dead key. So we'll, we'll go ahead and try it out first with the hand mic and then with the processed audio. So we'll go ahead and start recording here. And we'll key up. We have a four-way dead key and um, swinging to about 15, 16 watts at the moment. Audio test, uh, audio test. The AC Mod 7, Hi-Fi Asymmetrical AM and ESSB Modulator. So here we have a four watt dead key swinging to about 16 watts. That puts me about 100% modulation. We'll go ahead and switch over to the hand mic. We'll go ahead and unplug the rear connector. That's our line end connector. When you unplug that connector, then the audio from the hand mic is activated. The audio from the hand mic is active. So we'll key up. Audio, this is the hand mic using the uh, Stryker SR955 with the new AC Mod 7. Uh, there is a 3.5 3 KC microphone, give or take. And right now we'll go ahead and uh, go back to our process audio. And now we're running the processed audio, and that's what it sounds like using the AC Mod 7.
Okay, so there we see we have a four wide dead key. Swinging to about 15 to 16 watts. That puts us at 100% modulation. And we'll go ahead and increase the asymmetry a little bit. That is uh, about 200% modulation right there. It's a little bit too much, but uh, we'll back it down. That's about 150% right there. Uh, do one, two, three, four, five. Back to zero and the asymmetry. And uh, we have 100% modulation. So we'll go ahead and uh, show you how we set up the AC mod. Um, very simple procedure. Uh, we'll go ahead and adjust the audio just a little bit here. Audio one. Let's see the EQ, cancel. Uh, we'll go to the paragraphic equalizer. Audio one, two, three, four, five, audio test. There we gave it a little more highs. Audio, audio, audio one, two. Try to get rid of the sibilance. Audio one, two, test one, two, three. The AC Mod 7 with a Striker SR955. That's what it sounds like in AM. And again with the hand mic. This is the Striker SR955 with the hand mic. This is the Striker SR955 with the processed audio using the AC Mod 7. Okay, now we're going to show you how to adjust the AC mod board. We'll go ahead and bring all the controls counterclockwise. Your gain, your audio, your carrier, your asymmetry, and your sideband output. You key up, choose your dead key. Let's say let's put a 2 watt dead key. Set it on the L scope. Modulate, get your sine wave, raise up your level control to 100% right there. And if you want more asymmetry, you can bring it up. That's 200% right there. 150. Back to 100. That simple is to set the AC mod. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.